Hello everyone. I was watching some videos and I found uh, Friendly Rough AI's uh, Beam Executor uh, and I, I thought it was pretty cool so I was inspired by that to uh, create my own version of the uh, Beam Executor. It's basically the same fit as his except well for one thing I didn't have uh, enough uh, large pillums so I had a large pillum and a medium pillum <laughs> instead of two large pillums so uh, so that's one difference and also I didn't understand why he, he didn't um, repair special modifications just restore it. it's like 700,000 it's like nothing <laughs> at this point when you when you when you can take missions to uh, kill these ships you know the bounties and you know it's not it's not a big deal so let's run a simulation and see how this works um, let's do a one-on-one -on -one. I'm, I'm not that ambitious and and my my gut my, my this guy's unpiloted it so Obviously a bit more uh, difficult to uh, let's uh, I don't know if this is a if I needed to get, do that I don't do much simulations but let's try that against I don't know two See if uh, if it works against two of them. I don't think I think I don't think it will. Because <laughs> I was getting. Because I was barely winning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh no! Time to run. Time to back up. Oh yeah yeah.
time he gets too ambitious, he moves forward and then he gets smashed. <laughs> but, you know, you can see it's a... Uh, if there were two of these, maybe uh, he'd do better. Maybe we'd do better. But this is a losing game. Yeah. But anyways, uh, my, my one on one, it's okay. Two on two, a little too much. So basically, very similar to his fit, except I use uh, tactical lasers here instead of, uh, and I use the cheaper and shorter range arbalist, and I use uh, tactical lasers because uh, I think they work. You know, uh, like um, he doesn't use any, uh, but I think you know the tactical lasers are nice. You know, nice and cheap. You know, they they only cost four points, and they do. You know, they're very flux efficient. Seventy five damage. It's fair. Um, expanded magazines, just like he he has. He, he has he spent a point in solar shielding, which which didn't help here in the in the uh, simulation but it, it it probably helps out in the real world because when you when you get solar damage and then you go into battle you know maybe you you take 10 20 percent damage and then you go into battle damaged so uh, that's not good so uh, I I have flux distributor instead of a uh, he has uh, advanced turret gyros and I'm thinking I'm not sure we need the uh, turret gyros because I, I don't think um, this ship is meant to fight the smaller ships and uh, so uh, it's it's going to turn it's going to need to turn around and like all these like tachyon lances and the arbalist they, they're, they're not going to turn they're not going to have a lot of range it's it's going to be these guns that's going to have some range uh, you know, range as in range of movement not ranges in uh, long range but uh, anyways um, I, I have uh, one flat cannon he, I think he has dual flat cannon in the back I just have the one um, the single and then uh, and then of course my pillow I didn't have the right one I only have this one and then uh, this is the big one this is the small one um, I have integrated uh, targeting advanced optics he has advanced auxiliary thrusters I don't have ECCM package so the reason why I don't have it is because the way I figure the pillums aren't really meant to hit people they're so slow that most people can you know most other ships can either shoot them down or avoid them so they're, they're just distractions and uh, but they're cheap distractions for whatever you know for the points you constantly have this distraction constantly you're constantly able to put some pressure you know like or uh, you know make, make it more difficult for, for like a, 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 a frigate to uh, close in and maybe um, they'd have to eat some missiles if they did so um, that that's it. I, I don't see them doing a huge amount. And I, when I was watching his video, uh, his uh, executor didn't do much with the pillums either. I don't think the pillums did a whole lot. Um, resistant flux coils, he had that, I think. Uh, and then I had armor weapon mounts. Uh, did he have that? Yeah, he had resistant flux. And then uh, he didn't have the armored weapon mounts. So, so, so again in the same vein um, the armored weapons mount increases the ship's armor makes the weapons more durable and uh, decreases the weapons turn rate but you know these these weapons are not gonna turn it's mo mostly the ship that's gonna be turning so uh, I figure it's not that important so that's why my fit is like this but uh, you know one-on-one -on -one, it does okay against a yeah uh, a, uh, standard uh, um, onslaught so uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy with it well thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed